What's up guys, Drew here, and this is a VR, obviously, to Brittany from Palm Tree Bewitchery, and the the video that she made was basically um, natural crystals and stones, man-made crystals and stones, and man-altered crystals and stones, and what, if any, difference there was between them for her, um, and as she understood it. And so, you know... I'm a crystal chick, so I was like, yes, I'm jumping on that. So um, here I am with my contribution to this topic. So obviously there are natural crystals that are grown in the earth and they're beautiful. They pop up or are dug out or mined. And of course they have varying degrees of quality in themselves. Um, you know, that's why we grade these kinds of things. Then of course there are man-made crystals that are grown in a lab um, and then there are man altered crystals and they may be altered in a lab or I can alter them in my kitchen I can alter I can go to my oven and alter crystals it only makes sense that there would be some difference between those things and in my my personal experience there is Let's talk a little bit about man-made first so let me find I got a whole pile of rocks here let me find my man-made that I have okay so this is of course just what I own um, and honestly um, I only own uh, I own very few man-made crystals uh, these in particular these gold stones that I have are actually my husband's I dug them out of his tumbled collection because I don't even own any gold stone I'm not drawn to it at all so of course this is just a regular gold stone all right hold on <laughs> um, I don't know how well you can see it's nice and shiny so basically they took some glass and they shot copper all in it and you also have green goldstone I don't know if you could tell that's green but it is if I shine, I could shine a light on it better which I'm just not gonna do sorry and then blue goldstone which actually looks more purple but same thing it's glass with copper shot into it copper put in it and copper has properties copper is one of my favorite copper is my favorite metal and so it's I work with it regularly I adore it I wrap all my stones in copper wire um, just anytime I'm gonna work with metal it's gonna be copper and if I can't get copper it's gonna be silver just me personally so that's great but I would rather just work with a raw chunk of copper than work with this. It doesn't, for me personally, I don't get I barely any, like it's so subtle, like it's nothing for me. I guess they're pretty to look at, fine. I, I don't, I don't even think they're that pretty. The, the blue gold stone's kind of pretty. It, it has like a, a cosmos universe kind of feel to it, but I'm not into it personally okay and this this is a fake magnetite a fake lodestone it's a magnet it's a magnet now lodestone is magnetic but this is not it's not a real lodestone and I don't like it it doesn't even it's, it's a magnet that's what it feels like it feels like a magnet and to me lodestone has a different energy than magnet even though it is magnetic um, so be careful when buying, like buy it hopefully from a, a reputable metaphysical shop or something rather than just trying to buy, trying to buy it offline. Then there's the Gaia stone and I own one of these and I think it's lovely, but it's, it's, it was grown in a lab. It was not grown by the earth at all. Sorry, the sun, the lighting is so messed up and I apologize, but it's just that time of day that the sun is trying to kill me. I, I really do think this is beautiful. I love the, it's so, it's translucent and it's the shade of green that it is. It's really, really beautiful. But again, I get very little off of it. And maybe that's a mental block, I don't know, but I just genuinely have never, I don't, I've never used this for anything ever. I just have it because it's cool and it's pretty and it's called Gaia Stone so 
but this is a lab grown stone. Those are all the lab grown stones that I own, um, man manufactured, because I'm just not into them. I'm just not, I mean, if they're really pretty, I might, you know, I'll buy it, but um, even being man made, they want to charge a nice amount of money for it. And sometimes even more than an earth grown crystal or stone. And I just would rather spend my money on Gaia's goods. It's just, I don't know. Having said that, I greatly enjoy man altered stones. So the aura crystals in particular are some of my, like one of my favorite all time stones ever in this world is aqua aura quartz. And um, I have my book and I could look quickly, but I think it's silver and I don't know. They, they, the process is, is that they break down metal into a fine powder and then it is through some kind of mechanical process it is adhered to quartz. So it's real quartz crystal with metal bonded to the surface. Crystal quartz has properties and metals also have properties, metaphysically, magically speaking. So you're combining these two things together and I think it's amazing, it's awesome. All you're doing is amplifying, enhancing, and altering the properties of the quartz. And I love them. Like I said, Aqua Aura is my favorite. Um, you've also got this Apple Aura. It's got a green. There's uh, Tanzan Aura, this purpley one. Um, this is a Tangerine Aura. It's orange. And there's Rose Aura. There's several others. I just don't own them all yet. Um, I adore the Aura crystals. Again, you're taking two things that have their metaphysical, magical properties already and then mixing them together. So I don't have a problem with it. Um, also, citrine is another one that I work with that is man altered. This is a piece of citrine. Citrine is pale, translucent, goldeny yellow, or even almost smoky in color. When you find a beautiful specimen like this, this is amethyst. Somebody put it in an oven or a kiln and heated it up to a certain temperature and it turned into citrine because that's what happens in the earth. Um, I find their energies to be a little bit different, but I use them interchangeably. I am more drawn to the natural, I have to admit, but I don't have a problem with the heat treated at all. I really do enjoy it and like it. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel damaged, although it may actually be on a molecular level, um, the heat, but the, the same thing, it, the heat changed this into a citrine, the heat of the earth. So I don't know, I don't have a problem working with heat treated citrine, although I am more drawn to the natural. And then we'll get into the ones that I'm not so crazy about. Okay, so this is a piece of halite. It's not a very good specimen at all. You often find pieces of halite that have been dyed, all different colors, a lot of turquoise that's on the market, particularly if it's not in a metaphysical shop. If you're just like going to Michael's, a lot of that is actually dyed halite. Fortunately, they usually tell you on the label that that's what it is, so you can look. I'm not really crazy about halite in general just because of that, honestly. It turns me, I don't like dyed crystal. This is a dyed crystal. Um, we have, I live on the beach and we have all these little shops you can go to and they're like, um, you know, get a bag of rocks for five bucks. And I go through and meticulously pick them out. But every once in a while, I'll grab one that's not. This is, a, this is the only dyed crystal I own. I think I have one other pink one. I do not like it. I do not like that you shot dye into this beautiful piece of quartz. It bugs me. I feel like it changes the energy. It makes it denser or heavier somehow. I don't, I don't like it. I don't work with them. I don't want them. Um, this, a lot of people will call these moonstones or, you know, no. What this is, is a piece of opalite. An opalite is you take any kind of crystal, just about, drop it into a certain chemical and it'll come out looking like this could have been a rose quartz. It could have been an amethyst. It could have been um, 
it could have been anything. You drop it into this chemical and it comes out looking like this. Now, I like it. I do like it, um, aesthetically speaking, but I feel energy. I definitely feel energy, but I don't know how I would work with it. Um, it's still a crystal, but it has been altered. Um, lastly, I want to talk about irradiated quartz. I've talked about this before. It is my nemesis, crystal nemesis. So here's a piece of smoky quartz, right? It's lovely. It, it's very pale and it's translucent. This is a very dark piece of smoky quartz. Um, I don't know that you're going to be able to tell, but if I hold this in the right lighting, it is still translucent. I can see right through it. Um, like a very dark glass of tea or booze or something, you know? If you come across a piece of quartz that is opaque, it is so black that you cannot see through it. It is very likely that that is irradiated, which means they took a piece of smoky quartz and fed it radiation. Now we have laws in the United States that um, when you take your little Geiger or whatever, when you take read the radiation levels given off by the crystal, it has to be in a safe amount to be legally sold. I don't know if those regulations apply to other countries. Um, I have heard that this idea that people with cancer or who, who are getting radiation should work with irradiated quartz, but I don't own one piece and I don't own one piece because it's gross. I'm sorry. If you like it, I apologize, but they are hollow. They are sick. When I hold them, it's disgusting. I don't like the energy. I, it makes me angry. I mean, if I even think it's irradiated, I'm not going near it because the energy of this it was a beautiful piece of smoky quartz and like it was ruined. Somebody, they fed radiation to the crystal. Like it just, oh, it makes me so mad to make it. Well, actually it doesn't even have to be smoky quartz. Like I think just take quartz, regular quartz and put it in and turn it into smoky quartz is actually, I believe the way that it works. They, I don't think they usually take a piece of smoky quartz and make it darker. They take a piece of regular quartz and make it into smoky quartz by feeding it radiation. And I don't fucking like it. So, um, my own personal opinion. So in conclusion, I, I love crystals. I enjoy man altered crystals greatly. Not so crazy about man-made crystals. Um, they can be quite pretty, but in general, energetically speaking for metaphysical healing or magical properties and purposes, I'm not into it at all. And, um, there are even a couple of man altered crystals that I, I'm not, you know, irradiated smoky quartz, never, ever. It's a sin and I don't even believe in sin. It is wrong. So, um, yeah, that's my take on this discussion. As always, guys, thanks for listening. And until next time, much love and gratitude.